Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Binge Now. Let's head into Hallmark Actors and Their Net Worth, Part 1. Number 10, Carlos Pena Jr., Net Worth, $12 million. An American singer, songwriter, rapper, actor, dancer and director with a $12 million fortune. Carlos Pena Jr. made his television acting debut in a guest star role on ER. From then, he progressed to recurrent and guest starring roles on shows including Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, Judging Amy, and Summerland, as well as appearances in several commercials. He was given the parts that would make him the most famous, Carlos Garcia on Nickelodeon's Big Time Rush in 2009. In 2011, he also makes his acting debuts as Carlos in the short film The Hangover Hollywood and as Louie in the movie Little Birds. Every day they are told that they are worthless, that they are beyond hope. Are you really going to see this thing through? Kido works hard his whole life. You should have your whole world open to you. I have to take that chance. Number 9. Lauren Michael Holly. Net worth $14 million. The full name of American-Canadian actress Lauren Holly is Lauren Michael Holly. She made her acting debut in the 1984 film Seven Minutes in Heaven, before moving on to the television series Hill Street Blues. Her well-known parts include those in Dragon, The Bruce Lee Story, and Dumb and Dumber. The estimated net worth of Lauren Holly is 14 million US dollars. I promised myself if today went well, I had to ask Deidre for a little more responsibility. But she'll find out life is full of surprises. Number 8. Candace Cameron Bure, net worth $14 million. Candace, well known for her role of DJ Tanner in Full House. The most popular Hallmark movies of Candace Cameron Bure are Just the Way You Are 2015, Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries 2015, Christmas Town 2008, and Switched for Christmas 2017. Fans keep scrolling how much does Candace Cameron Bure make per Hallmark movie, and she actually makes $24,000 to $40,000 per movie. Happy holidays, everyone! I'm Candace Cameron Bure. I'm so excited to share my brand new Countdown to Christmas movie premiere with you, part of the seven night Thanksgiving movie event hosted by me only on Hallmark Channel. Number 7 Jordan Bridges, net worth $14 million. The birth name of American actor Jordan Bridges, whose father is also an actor, is Jordan P. Bridges. His works include Dawson's Creek from 1998 and Drive Me Crazy from 1999 are well known. One of his major films from the year 2003 was Mona Lisa Smile. Two of his well-known films are Love Takes Wing and Love Finds a Home. He has a $14 million net worth. Charlie McKenzie has the perfect family. He hired me because he thinks I'm a stable family woman. Tori Spelling. Get out there and pretend you love me. Greg Gurman. Well, I love a good story. In a Hallmark Channel original movie. Number 6, Catherine Bell, $15 million. The 2010 film Somewhere marked the acting debut of Canadian and American actor Paul Green, who started his career in the 2006 television series Freddy. He became well known for his role as Benjamin Gray in The Wicked Games. Paul Green was born in Wetaskiwin, Alberta, Canada on June 2, 1974. He measures 6 feet tall and 75 kilograms. He has dark shades in his hair and black eyes. He is thought to be valued at $14 to $16 million in the US. He is one of the most popular and sought-after entertainers in 2021. Jack said, I love you, and I just said, you too. The problem is... Did I said love? There's been an explosion at Pellington Tower. In no. Catherine Bell. I'm not leaving my family. The Yelp Premier Movie Event. <laughs> Number 5. Paul Green, $16 million. Paul Green is a Canadian and American actor who made his acting debut in the 2010 film Somewhere, after beginning his career in the television series Freddy in 2006. He gained notoriety by playing Benjamin Gray in The Wicked Wicked Games. On June 2, 1974, Paul Green was born in Wetaskiwin, Alberta, Canada. He is 6 feet tall and weighs 75 kilograms. He has black eyes and dark shading hair. His estimated US net worth is $14 to $16 million. He is one of the most well-known and desirable performers in 2021. She's not very adventurous. I wasn't expecting so much snow. It's in our tent! 
I got this. Becomes the adventure of a lifetime. Look behind you. And Paul Green. I made you something. Number four, Wendy Malick, $16 million. Wendy Malick, an American actress and former Wilhelmina model in the 1970s, was born Diane Malick. Some of her works include Trauma Center, Good Company, NYPD Blue, and Dynasty The Reunion. On December 13, 1950, Wendy was born in Buffalo, New York in the United States. Ken and Gigi Malick are her parents. She has a $16 million net worth. Here's Michael and I are especially lucky to still have each other. I'm in love with Christine. Can be a killer. Ah! Wendy Malick, Gregory Harrison in a Hallmark Movie Channel original. Number three, Trevor Donovan, $18 million. The full name of American actor and model Trevor Donovan is Trevor Donovan Neubauer. He made his acting debut in the 2009 film Surrogates, after being in the TV series Quintuplets in 2004. For his roles as Teddy Montgomery in 90210, Brady Landsberg in JL Ranch, Johnny Blake in Marry Me at Christmas, etc., Donovan rose to fame. He is on the list of the greatest male Hallmark actors now working in 2021 because he is one of the cutest. His net worth is reportedly $1.5 million. He is one of the top actors on the Hallmark Channel in 2021. You're not gonna win. Boom. I'm not very good at talking trash. Ashley Williams, Trevor Donovan. Double boom. Number two, Jonathan Scarf, $20 million. Jonathan Scarf was born in Toronto, Canada on December the 16th, 1975. Love on the Air, Angel of Christmas, Data's Handbook, and A Christmas Solo are a few of his notable and commercially successful television series. Jonathan Scarf has a $20 million estimated net worth and took a two-year break from acting to enjoy a global tour. I don't think flying softers are real. The Cold War may be over. Secret organization or Ramchek. Number one, Andy McDowell, $25 million. Andy McDowell was born in Gaffney, South Carolina on April the 21st, 1958. She began her career in the film industry and later worked for the Hallmark Channel. The Beach House, a home in Mitford, dashing in December, Debbie McComas' Cedar Cove and Christmas Inheritance are just a handful of Andy's popular film series. She is at the top of this list as a result of these movies. Hallmark Channel is not where she makes most of her money. Andy McDowell is thought to have a net worth of $25 million, which she has amassed from her acting career. I'm not going to get a cancer. Don't you get environmental on me, Sherry. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure that you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.